Okay, I wanted to make a quick video to demonstrate the Axis lock. Um, one of my favorite locks for a folding knife. And while I've seen a lot of video reviews of the various knives that use the Axis lock, and even some videos on the lock itself, uh, I haven't seen any that deal with at least the points that I like best about it. So I figured I'd make a quick video to demonstrate those. Uh, the Axis Lock is made by Benchmade, so you'll find it mostly on Benchmade knives. These two examples are Benchmade's. Um, this one's a, a 550 Griptilian. Real great knife, a lot of people have these. Uh, the next one is a 5000 Auto Presidio. Um, it's an automatic, it's a switchblade, uh, so it's not legal everywhere. Uh, military law enforcement only, usually. I'm here in Arizona where um, switchblades are okay, so uh, I have one, but um, if you're able to get it, it's one of my favorite knives. It's actually my favorite folding knife to date. Anyhow, we're talking about the, the locking mechanism, the axis lock, and uh, three reasons why I like it. First off is that it's ambidextrous. Uh, you can get to it and use it from either side of the knife, from either hand. Uh, very easy to use. Second thing I like about the axis locking system, besides its strength, is, is the way that it, uh, it it's positioned uh, ergonomically on the knife itself. Uh, I, I just don't like lock, liner locks where you've got to put your thumb in the channel here and basically start the blade moving. So you're basically putting your thumb in the path of the blade and then initiating that movement. Um, you know, some of the other locks, even uh, you know, some of the stronger ones like a, a frame lock, uh, same thing. You, you end up putting your thumb at least at some point in the way. Uh, again, if your mind is elsewhere, uh, that's just a recipe for disaster. So one of the nice things I think about the uh, axis is that at least the way I hold it and most people I know are going to use the belt clip to, to their advantage and put their, their grip on that and their fingers are just never in the path of the blade. Uh, last thing about it I kind of demonstrated already is that as easy as it is to open and as quick as it can be to open, uh, it's just as quick and it's just as easy to effortlessly close the knife and very rarely you know, does a locking mechanism, a decent locking mechanism, allow that? And really, that's that's the star feature, in my opinion. Of course, you can use it from either hand, which is a great feature. Um, but the ability to just keep that blade open and closed, and I'm not doing it justice here. Somebody that's owned one of these for a long time and has one that's well worn in, uh, it just opens and closes without effort, and uh, can still be opened with a flick of the thumb, like a lot of knives. Uh, but again, it can effortlessly be closed as well. So if you haven't taken a look at them yet, they're not real expensive. Uh, you can get a smaller version of this one well under $100. This one's right around $100. This one costs a bit more. Uh, again, it has some restrictions depending on the laws where you live. But great knives, uh, access lock, super strong, well-built, uh, real winner from Benchmade.